Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff under fire tonight for a tweet suggesting that some of his Republican colleagues are motivated by what he sees as deep-seated racism. Schiff calling out my next guest, Republican Tom MacArthur of New Jersey, saying in part, quote, Representative MacArthur says his Korean-American opponent is, in quotes, not one of us. The dog whistles, he writes, of bigotry have been put away. Now they're using trumpets. But it appears that Schiff sort of stepped in it here. Now MacArthur, who has two adopted children from South Korea, says that Mr. Schiff owes him an apology and owes his children an apology. Congressman Tom MacArthur of New Jersey joins us now. Um, good to have you with us uh, today. Let, let's put, um, I want to put the tweet that you responded to that with um, up on the screen and you say, hey, Adam Schiff, first, I didn't say that. Second, you should have done some research before you made such a disgustingly false claim. I have two adopted children from South Korea. I don't want your apology, but you can sure apologize to my children. And there's a picture of your beautiful family. Thank you. What did he? Re how did he respond? Well, he hasn't responded. I uh, tried, to, tried to get him on the phone last night. Uh, crickets. Uh, look, this is just another one of those, the angry resistance uh, going after me and going af after others with whatever they can grab to try to get power. And they're just trying to divide America, make people angry, make people afraid. Uh, it, it's it's pretty disgusting, and it's not going to work. So, so when when you said not one of us, he jumped on that and assumed that you meant your opponent's ethnic background. What did you mean? Well, I didn't say it. It was in a, an outside ad, but what it said was he was a Nancy Pel a Pelosi liberal. So it was clearly referring to his uh, political stance. Had nothing to do with his race. But this is, this is what the angry resistance is doing. They want to get power. Adam Schiff is uh, desperate to get a gavel in his hand and, and try to stop this president's agenda, and he'll do anything to do it. He couldn't care less whether he said something offensive or wrong. He's just... Uh, do you think your, your children will get an apology? Uh, I, I doubt it. You know what? I don't care about an apology Incredible. for me. He should apologize to the American people. Well, let, let me ask you this. You, you're running it, uh, you have a very tight race uh, with Mr. Kim. It's 40 to 41 right now, about a point apart from the polls that we've seen. Um, you voted for the tax package, which was very unpopular in New Jersey because uh, of the implications for the state taxes. Um, do you think that's going to be a problem for you? No, I made the right vote. Uh, uh, the vast majority of people in my district are getting lower taxes. We, we doubled rates. We did so many things in that tax package. It's not just about one thing, uh, not just about state and local taxes. And people's taxes are going down. I asked my opponent today, we had a, a, a televised uh, debate, and I said, what, what do you want to replace it with? Are you going to repeal it? Because if you repeal it, uh, the people that are part of South Jersey are going to lose $3,500 a family. And, and it was, again, it was silence. No specifics, no answers. Uh, I, think, I think the resistance is trying to distract, trying to make people angry. They're trying to make people afraid because once April comes, the game is up. Mm -hmm. People are going to see that their taxes went down and they're trying, to, they're trying to make people afraid today. And they're going to fail because the American people do not want to be divided. They don't want to be angry. They want leaders that are going to work together and get things done. And, Let me ask you this. Do you think that if someone said the kind of thing about your family that he said and, and the parties were reversed, that there would be more outrage? I'm absolutely certain of it. I'm absolutely. The, the, the media is definitely complicit in this at times. They, they'll, they'll look away from this with Adam Schiff. But the American people won't look away. They see this for what it is. It's a pattern from an angry left resistance movement that my opponent is part of and guys like Adam Schiff they'll do anything to get power and the American people I don't think are gonna fall for it because uh, they're too smart for that. All right so we'll be calling the races in just a few weeks and I look forward to seeing how it all works out after this. Uh, thank you for being here tonight Representative Tom MacArthur.